really, because I think, I mean, fact checkers can never keep up with the extent of disinformation. I mean, so far we're the only real fact checking organization in Malta. So, um, the Times of Malta is the only organization that systematically carries out fact checking on kind of as, a, as an individual activity. There are other media organizations that kind of fact check stuff, obviously, as part of their work, but none of them kind of do it specifically the way we do. But ultimately, I'm the only fact checker at the Times of Malta, so I'm one person. And one person can never really keep up with the, uh, the work that is needed to fact check the quantity of misinformation that, that is out there. Because, I mean, like I was saying earlier, it takes a lot of time to debunk certain information. So we can have a story that I'll be working on for a week, very easily. Um, or I'll be working on for a number of days. And it's not sustainable to, to kind of work in that way over the longer term period. So I think it comes back to what I was saying in terms of there needing to be like a collective effort to to stop misinformation, the spread of misinformation, um, and to, rather than stop it, to, to make people more aware and more critical of misinformation when it's out there. So helping people understand that there is misinformation, it exists, information can be manipulated, and uh, we all need to be a little bit vigilant in terms of you know, the information we consume. So I don't, I mean, I don't think we can depend on fact-checking uh, alone. Fact-checking is a very useful service. I think there's a lot that, uh, that it can contribute, but I think it, it, it can't exist in a vacuum.